preschool kids and families, it's Miss Julie. We're so glad you've joined us today. This is a very special time of the year called Advent. The word Advent means coming. At this special time of the year, we celebrate Jesus coming to earth as a baby. Near the end of Advent, we celebrate Christmas, Jesus' birthday. While we excitedly and patiently wait for that day, we're gonna learn from the Bible what happened right around the time Jesus was born. But before our lesson today, let's practice our monthly memory verse together. We wanna be reminded what's good and true and beautiful about our God. So let's get up, let's shake out all of our wiggles, let's warm up our voices, and here we go. Bye. Fear not for behold, I bring you good news Of great joy that will be for all the people For unto you is born this day in the city of David The Savior who is Christ the Lord Luke 2, 10 through 11 Luke 2, 10 through 11 2, 10 through 11 Fear not for behold I bring you good news Of great joy that will be For all the people For unto you is born This day in the city Of David The Savior who is Christ the Lord Luke 2, 10 through 11 10 through 11 Luke 2 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 10 through 11 Hey boys and girls it's Mr. Matt Who can raise their hand and tell me what holiday we are going to be celebrating soon that's right, it's almost Christmas time. Last week, we talked about how some people decorate their homes with a nativity scene. Did you find one in your home? Did you see baby Jesus in the manger? Well, if it's okay with your family, practice telling the story of Jesus' birth as you look at the nativity scene in your house. Do you know what I love most about Christmas? It's getting to spend time remembering the birth of Jesus. The whole reason we celebrate Christmas is to remember Jesus. So on the count of three, say Jesus. One, two, three, Jesus. Last week, we started learning about the night when Jesus was born. But guess what? So much more happened that night and that's what we're gonna talk about today. Our story today comes from the Bible. The Bible is God's true word. The Bible is from God and about God. Now remember, God made a promise. He told Adam and Eve that one day he would send a savior to save God's people from their sin. We know that savior was Jesus. Jesus is God's son. And God kept his promise to send Jesus, but God's people had to wait many, many years for Jesus to come. God chose a woman named Mary to be Jesus' mother and a man named Joseph to be Mary's husband. And an angel came to Mary and Joseph and told them that they would have a baby who would be the savior from whom God had promised. And the angel told them to name that baby Jesus. And we learned that Mary and Joseph had to travel to a town called Bethlehem so they could be counted for the king. But when they got to Bethlehem, there was nowhere for them to sleep. They had to stay in a stinky stable. That night, Mary gave birth to Jesus. She wrapped baby Jesus in cloth, and she did not have a crib or a bed to put Jesus in. Instead, she had to put baby Jesus in a manger. What happened next? Well, I'm so glad you asked. Nearby, there were some men in a field called shepherds. On the count of three, let's all say shepherds. One, two, 
three, shepherds. Now shepherds take care of sheep. On the count of three, let's all make the sound that a sheep makes. One, two, three, baa. One way shepherds take care of their sheep is by living and even sleeping outside with them. And while baby Jesus was being born in a stable, the shepherds were in their fields watching over their sheep. It was a very dark and quiet night. Suddenly, an angel appeared in the night sky. And the Bible tells us the angel was surrounded by very bright light from heaven. It was so bright. Now, angels are mighty warriors and messengers of God. The shepherds were afraid of the angel. Can you show me maybe what the shepherds might have looked like when they saw the angel in the sky? That's right, they were so scared. Now the angel spoke to the shepherds and told them something wonderful. Now let's read the Bible to see what the angel said. Luke chapter two, verses 10 through 11 says, and the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. Did you recognize those verses from your memory song this month? So good. The angel told the shepherds not to be afraid, but to have joy. On the count of three, let's all say joy. One, two, three, joy. Can you show me with your face what it looks like to have joy? Good. The angel told the shepherds the good news that Jesus had been born. Jesus came to save sinners. And suddenly, instead of there just being one angel in the sky, the sky was filled with angels, lots and lots and lots of angels. And the angels began praising God and singing about how great God is. They said, glory to God, glory to God. On the count of three, let's all say glory to God. One, two, three, glory to God. And then suddenly, just as quickly as the angels appeared, they all disappeared. The shepherds quickly left their sheep and ran to Bethlehem to the stable. And they found Mary, Joseph, and baby Jesus. When the shepherds saw baby Jesus, they worshiped him. Then the shepherds went all over Bethlehem, telling everyone that Jesus had been born. On the night that Jesus was born, God wanted everyone to know that Jesus came to save sinners. God sent mighty angels to tell the shepherds, and the shepherds were so excited, they left their sheep, and they went to go see baby Jesus and tell everyone else the good news that Jesus came to save sinners. And we can tell others that Jesus came to save sinners just like the angels and the shepherds did. So on the count of three, let's practice. Let's all say, Jesus came to save sinners. Ready? One, two, three. Jesus came to save sinners. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this great story. We thank you that we learned about how Jesus came to save sinners. And so I'll pray for these boys and girls. I pray that they would be just as excited about this news as the shepherds were that day so long ago. We love you, we thank you for Jesus, and we pray and ask all this in his name, amen. Sinners like you and me rose from
from the dead He beats it resources like our Advent Guide for Families. Check out our TVC Kids site located on the homepage of thevillagechurch.net. Merry Christmas, everybody!